Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Bradical Backs Channel. Welcome back to another Duel Links video. Welcome back to another Duel Links League video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Structure Deck EX Ancient Gear Awakening. We have quite a lot to talk about, so I'm going to make this a video on its own. I think it's the more important of the leaks we have so far, and I'll talk about the other leaks potentially in tomorrow's video, just because we have so many cards to get through, and this deck is so good. The fact it's a paid deck means that, yes, there's that pay to win Konami mind game going on especially since the newest main box or mini box sorry isn't going to be that good but we don't know when this is coming out i believe it's coming out after the end of the current rank season so you've got about a week to go until ancient gears drop on the meta and they're going to change it up they're going to shake it up because they're a very powerful deck now a big thank you to uh, my new channel member agal pfp of the future i probably destroyed that name i apologize but a big thank you to you for supporting the channel with your hard earned dollars and uh, if you want to help support the channel there's a join button down below below the video or a link in the description down below to actually become a channel member and just it just really helps out especially in January it's really appreciated so let's get on to the leaks in today's video we have two URs two SRs and five rares to go through and every card honestly is really good so let's start with the ultra rares with the cover card of the box ancient gear golem ultimate power Ray. level 8 3000 3000 cannot be special summoned if this card battles a defense vision monster inflict piercing battle damage so it's very much similar to ancient gear golem in that regard up to twice per turn when it's attacking cards destroyed monster by battle you can discard one machine monster this card can attack again in a row so if i'm reading that correctly that means you can attack three times because you'd attack once activates effect attack again activates effect and then attack again and on that third time you wouldn't be able to so three attacks with a 3000 point monster is pretty insane and the, just the the whole thing of discarding a machine monster isn't that is nowhere near as bad as it may sound because this deck has a lot of cards in it to recur those machines back from the graveyard if this card is drawn by battle or card effect you can add a poly and if you do add an other ancient gear monster from your graveyard into your hand from your graveyard so it's just searching out the deck for that ulterior strategy of going into those ancient gear fusions right now we only have ultimate ancient gear golem and duel links we don't have any of the other fusions like howitzer i think's a fusion and uh, chaos giant i think those are two of them uh, from mark 5 we don't have those yet which is kind of disappointing but i can understand why in the future they probably want to give us ancient gear fusion as a, a support card as a ur in a box or something and then it'll make ancient gears have an insanely uh, more depth of uh, versatility but still ultimate power is pretty decent then we have the other ultra rare ancient gear reactor dragon now i was going to do a video talking about what i thought was going to come in this set and i thought it was going to be the original gadgetron dragon with the original gadgets and it wouldn't be that great but reactor dragon is a lot better so level nine but requires two troops to summon it if this card was tribute summoned by tributing ancient gear monster and it attacks a defense vision monster inflict piercing damage to your opponent so it's again very similar to gear golem if this card is truly summoned by tributing a gadget monster, it can make a second attack during each battle phase. So right now, we don't have any gadgets in Duel Links, we don't have the original red, green or yellow gadgets. We don't have Ancient Gear gadget which would make both of those effects live. So right now, like two of these cards in this set are missing half their effect basically. But it doesn't make the card any... it doesn't like make the card bad. It's still a pretty good card. If this card attacks, your opponent's spell or trap cards and monster effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step, so it kind of makes up for the fact that Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound is lacking in that regard. And at the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, you can destroy one spell trap card on the field. So I can see why Konami didn't put the gadgets in, especially if they're putting in this card, because otherwise that would be two cards on the field you could blow up every turn just by attacking, and it would immediately kind of render your opponent's board useless. So I can understand why a 3000-3000 with the ability to destroy two spell trackers on the field would be limited in such a way. But still, a very cool card and one I'm very excited to test out before the deck comes out. And actually just playing Duel Links in general because this is, this is going to be one of the best decks I think of the current format. Next up we have two super rares. They are super rares, not like Duel Links Meta says secret rares. Uh, we have Shredder, one of the only cards, the only new cards at least in this deck that is a non-ancient gear card. Level 4 Earth Machine, 1600-1000, so okay-ish stat lines. Once per turn, you can send one Machine Time Monster from your hand to the graveyard, then target Monster Premier Controls with a less than or equal to level than it, and destroy it. So there's your Monster Removal, you have the Spell Removal with a Reactor Dragon, Monster Removal with a Shredder. Again, putting things into the graveyard is not as bad as it sounds, especially when we have things in the game, or in the deck at least, like Gear Town. This is a brand new field spell for Ancient Gears. Both players can normal summon Ancient Gear Monsters for one less tribute, so Gear Beast becomes a zero tribute, Gear Golem, Ultimate Pound, and 
a Wrecked Dragon become a 1 tribute, which is kind of crazy when you think about. Then, when this card is drawn into the graveyard, you can special 1 Ancient Gear Monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Now, obviously you can't go into things like Ultimate Pound or Ancient Gear Golem or Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem because their effects specifically state they can't be special summoned. But anything else is pretty much fair game. And if you've been away from Duel Links for a while, away from the TCG, then this works differently to how it did back in the days. So when it first came out, field spell cards, when they left the field, were treated as being destroyed rather than being sent like they are today. So in back in the day, you could play Gear Town, then set Gear Town on top of it, hence by destroying your own Gear Town and then getting its summon effect off, which was kind of ridiculous. And obviously, they changed that uh, quite a few years ago, to be fair. And now it's just it, that effect won't work. So you need to destroy this with things like Storm, with Twister, with whatever. So it's a good card, but doesn't work in the same way that you're used to, so if you've been away from a while, it's not as powerful as it used to be. Then, moving on to the rares, we have Ancient Gear Hydra, another new card, level 7, 2700 attack, 1700 defense. At the end of the damage step, when this card that was truly summoned by a tributing Ancient Gear monster battles the opponent's monster, but the opponent's monster was not destroyed by the battle, you can banish that opponent's monster. So again, this is one of those situations where I don't see exactly where this would be used. Um, I don't think too many monsters have built-in protection right now in Duel Links, so... When we do get to that point, then this will be very useful. If this card was troops summoned by tripping a gadget monster, it can attack all monster point controls once each. So again, we don't have the gadgets, we don't have gear gadgets, so we can't get that effect off just yet. But if an ancient gear monster attacks, your opponent spell trap cards and monster effects cannot be activated until the end of the damage step, so it covers your entire monster lineup with that effect. So it makes up again for an ultimate pound not having that effect, and your weaker monsters potentially not having that effect either. So a really, really good card. I don't know whether it's going to see as much play as some of the other ones. Maybe it's going to be a one-off in the deck. Especially in Duel Links, it's kind of harder to guess as to what uh, ratios you're going to be playing things at. But still, Hydra's are really good. Then we have one of the newest bits of support came out in Legendary Duel 2 back in uh, February last year, I think it was. Ancient Gear Frame, a level 4 machine. 1600, 500. You can discard one card, add an Ancient Gear Golem or one spell card that lists the card Ancient Gear Golem in its text. From your deck to your hand. So we don't really have too many of those in Duel Links right now, but I assume in the future we will. Again, we got more support for that in Legendary Duel Links 2. It's a hard once per turn, and if it attacks, your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards till the end of the damage step. If this face of card in its owner's control leaves the field because of a card effect of your opponent's, you can special summon up to three Ancient Gear Golems or Ultimate Pound from your hand, ignoring their summoning conditions. This is kind of insane. It's not an effect you're gonna get off very often, but if you do, that's potentially three big boys on board from one little boy going away, which in Duel Links means pretty much that your opponent's going to lose because all of those have the effect, or like at least the original Golem has the effect of you probably not being able to activate you know, spell trap cards when it attacks. So it's kind of insane to think about that this could happen in Duel Links. It, again, it's something that has to happen because of your opponent's actions, so they're going to be very wary of doing it. They're going to want to kill this card using normal monsters or uh, other you know, like sending it face down with like Canadian and killing it, but still a cool card nonetheless, and one that I think is going to see maybe not play in traditional ancient gear strategy, but one that would definitely see play, or at least it will see play in the ancient gear strategy for the search effect, but not necessarily for that special summon effect. Then we have a card I think deserves a much higher rarity, Ancient Gear Wyvern. This is one of the best cards ancient gears have in a TCG. 1700 attack, 1200 defense. If this card is normal special summon, you could add one Ancient Gear card from your deck to your hand except itself, but you cannot set cards for the rest of the turn, that restriction is not really relevant. Just being able to search any card or normal summon is insane, it's a hard once per turn, and if it attacks, your opponent's monster cannot activate their effects till the end of the damage step, so again, that's just a really good card for getting over a bunch of support. Additionally, with Ancient Gear Wyvern, you could use it to search out for Ancient Gear Box, and then use its effect to search out for Ancient Gear Frame, or if we had an Ancient Gear Gadget, which would then let you uh, search out for your fusion materials, which would be kind of crazy. But obviously, that's that's a strategy that's going to see at least a little bit of use in Duel Links right now, but not its fullest potential. But still, you can go through your deck quite easily with Gear Wyvern with, by comboing it with Gear Box and Gear Frames. So if you're going for that sort of strategy, then this is a really cool combo you can do. Gear Wyvern is really good. Then we have Ancient Gear Fortress. During the turn, they were normal special summoned. Your opponent cannot target Ancient Gear Monster Control with card effects, and they cannot be destroyed by card effects. Your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to the activation of Ancient Gear cards and effects. That's also ridiculous. If this card is destroyed in the Spell Track Card Zone, you can Special Summon one Ancient Gear Monster from your hand or graveyard. Also, you cannot Special Summon monsters for this turn, except for Ancient Gear Monsters. That's not going to be a problem, but again, you're kind of limited on what you can summon out, but 
the fact you can still summon out things like Wyvern with this effect, get the search off, and then go in for even further plays, that's kinda crazy. Finally for new cards we have Iron Call, this is another generic machine support card, if you control a machine type monster, target one level 4 or lower machine type monster in your graveyard, special summon that monster, its effects negated and it's destroyed during the end phase. This is maybe not so good for ancient gear decks, but it's good for the new uh, Mecha Phantom Beasts. Like This is a very good card to use in the whole archetype, especially since it's very synchro heavy, so you could use it to special summon back the tuner and then you go for a synchro play. That's kinda cool. So Iron Cool, maybe not going to see use in this deck so much, but, but supporting cards coming in the newest box, I can definitely see that being a thing. And that is all the new cards for the newest Ancient Gear Structure Deck, Ancient Gear Awakening. Again, we don't know all of the reprints we're getting. We might be getting some uh, pretty decent standard Ancient Gear reprints, some cards that we only have one of in Duel right now. That could be kind of cool if they give us access to multiple copies of cards we only have one of. We don't know the full list just yet, but let me know your thoughts on the new Entry Gear Cards option down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next Duel Links League video. See you then.